very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking I'm really really very proud and happy and very glad to share with you our results from the forex signals group as we can see the vacation for Angela was extremely helpful and we can see the beautiful results ha have finally appeared again and we were able to manage to finish the whole week in more than 900 pips of, pro of profit delivered exclusively to our members in the forex signals group now i wanted to mention here also if you look at the results there is not even one single stop loss all of the signals have always reached uh, at least take profit uh, number one or we close them earlier as much as possible to reduce the losses to the maximum we can see here zero pips 30 pips of loss uh, 12 pips of loss uh, 30 pips of loss 24 pips so we can see here my friends that the, the losses are very uh, minimized and that is exactly what we are doing we are trying to help the members as much as possible by not letting any signal to reach the stop loss it happens rarely and if it happens it happened very fast and the market has moved unexpectedly against our expectations and thankfully this week actually we had tons of good messages we couldn't actually post them all we just posted the good ones but actually we have really a lot of positive and good feedbacks from the clients who have joined the signals recently and they were really very happy with the results of the last week it was really outstanding results as we can see I'm just showing you here the feedback front of your eyes and look at that uh, Angela is the best uh, Salah said we should not disturb you but I he just wanted to express his happiness that he have joined the signals and he wanted to thank Angela for the good signals that she has sent uh, he has made from his account from uh, $100 into $500 I mean in two weeks only that's that's awesome that's amazing that's what we are working for and that's what we're really hoping to see always so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's begin right now with the weekly analysis and I just wanted to mention for the last week uh, my midweek analysis video did not go well and there is actually a reason for that that on August 19 actually I think the same day um, yes the same day when I have published the midweek analysis uh, video there was also the open meetings going on and as we can see it was running the whole day and what actually they they tried to do actually was to bring the prices of the oil to a pre-pandemic level however I think they have failed uh, doing that and that indeed has affected the US dollar prices and also the gold therefore we can see that most of the analysis did not go well and if, from my point of view this was only the reason and looking at the next week um, we can see that there are not much news to pay attention to uh, let's go to the calendar all right so this is the upcoming news for the for the week ahead and we can see that the only thing that we need to pay attention to is this one here fed chair jerome powell is gonna speak and i think this is gonna really affect the gold prices and the us dollar also because he's the chairman of the uh, central bank in the united states this is gonna happen on thursday uh, august 27 we need to pay attention to that because it actually might change the whole signals and the rest of the day is actually we can see that it's gonna be fabulous it's gonna be really great for trading since there are not much uh, high impact news gonna affect the market now let's go to the euro USD. now from the from my point of view the euro USD, after we can see that there was a triple top uh, pattern has appeared and the dollar is actually gaining some strength right now uh, we can see that the pet, the euro USD is gonna be uh, good for um, the short this week. Uh, I also noticed here something. Uh, if we check the DX, uh, <coughs> sorry, the DXY, the US uh, dollar currency index. What we can notice here on the weekly candle, if I go to the weekly candle, look at that. The weekly candle has a closed as a bullish pin bar. That means that we are looking for a bullish uh, week for the dollar, meaning we are looking for also a bearish week for the euro USD. However, uh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen right away because if we go to the daily candle, 
what we can see right here is the the pair has closed actually on a previous resistance so we can expect from the pair to fall a little bit more to make one more attempt to retest the broken support level and then it's going to continue the rise and go to that resistance on 94. that being said let's go back to the uh, charts and let's uh, analyze the euro usd uh, if we analyze the euro usd from technical view on the four hour chart we can see that right now the pair has made an attempt to break out from the level 61.8 of Fibonacci level however the pair has rejected the breakout and we can see that the market has closed as a bullish candle at the end of the day that means the pair is going to continue the rise a little bit more to hit the previous resistance right here on 1.18500 and then after that the pair is going to continue the fall all the way to Fibonacci 161 so uh, this week we're looking for selling uh, the euro USD. We just want to wait for the right moment. We can just short right away So from my point of view This is exactly gonna be the best level to start shorting uh, Let's go to the one hour chart and yes fantastic. Yes, as you can see uh, it was right here a previous support mm, It was right here a previous support and it was also a key resistance right here and right here and here as well so that's a good level for shorting the euro usd and let's just write for you the levels we can sh start shorting the euro usd at 1.18487 and let's check the safe zone so we can have a good entry i'm expecting it to rise a little bit more to hit that resistance level right here no more than that <clears throat> yes i think i think it's until here only so 53 pips totally fine that's your safe zone my friends and for the tech profit level i'm not gonna make it uh, so big i'm actually gonna make it uh, only up to this uh, until this uh, previous support level so we are sh looking for almost 165 pips of profit from shorting the euro usd so uh, the tech profit level for the euro usd is gonna be given on 1.16814 hopefully the signal is gonna be valuable and gonna bring us a lot of profits let's check the pound usd so for the pound usd as we can see this is obviously a go uh, good for the sell and it's a bearish momentum however we just want to sell at the exactly right perfect uh, moment and from my point of view i think it's right here we need to wait for the pair to rise for another uh, 42 pips as you can see uh, what we need to find my friends actually is the strong key resistance levels now we can see that the pair is going to be good for the short now the question is where are the strong uh, resistance levels as we can see we had a strong resistance right here and also another resistance right here now based on my strategy the nearest resistance to the bearish breakout candle is going to be exactly this one however uh, the safe zone is going to be ranging between that resistance and the other resistance now of course that is just very basic analysis however if we want to be uh, accurate we need to draw a Fibonacci retracement and we can see that also similar to the euro usd the pair has uh, reversed exactly at Fibonacci 61.8 and look at that my my analysis was given for the uh, for the sell or the short at the Fibo 38.2 however we might expect from the pair to rise a little bit more for FIBO 23.6 after that it's gonna be better for the short so in other words this is gonna be the safe zone exactly like that it's gonna be ranging for almost 56 or 55 pips only uh, let me delete the Fibonacci so it won't can confuse anyone and we can start shorting the pound USD at 1.31302 and that is your safe zone my friends let me just make it clear like that all right perfect and the tech profit level is going to be given exactly at the previous support level right here and it's going to bring for us hopefully 100 almost 146 pips of profit so the tech profit level is going to be 1.29812 hopefully also it's going to work well and bring us good profits now let's look at the AUD USD now the first thing we can notice at the AUD USD is that the trend is still moving up it's moving in uh, uh, bullish trend however we can notice also that the trend direction has been changed right here and the, the pair has failed to break out from the resistance 
level on 0 0.72400 let's go to the weekly candles let's check out that ha what happened here we can notice that this is very strong key support level is holding the position and that strong key support level is becoming also a resistance right here this is resistance number one and right here the market has created a resistance number two not only that but also we can notice here the pair has closed as a, a bearish pin bar it's very obvious this week that the AUDUST is going to be good for the short uh, the question is where we can actually start shorting the AUDUST uh, actually we can start shorting the AUDUST exactly right here at the top of the resistance level if I draw a Fibonacci retracement just on this pattern like that we can see here exactly my line was drawn on Fibonacci 61.8 I believe the pair is gonna continue the rise only to hit that level however the safe zone is gonna be ranging inside this little bit above the uh, resistance level given as we can see my friends so the, sh the sell order is going to be given at the resistance on 0 0.71877 however the safe zone is going to be ranging also between this resistance and the resistance just before it uh, in all in all I think the AUDUSD is going to be good for the short right away however uh, we have to give a safe uh, sell signal or a sell uh, or sell at the safe zone because I don't want anyone to lose pips for no reason so uh, I just like it. I just want it to be full just fill the gap like that okay all right good uh, it's okay 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 uh, whatever <laughs> let's start shorting the AUDUST at 0 0.71854 and that's of course your safe zone my friends and the sell is gonna be uh, going on until it hit the previous support level right here on 0 0.70800 we are looking for almost 100 pips of profit from shorting the uh, AUDUST uh, 0 0.70800 hopefully also is gonna bring us a lot of profits let's check right now the USD CAD now the USD CAD signal uh, we can see that also the pair has reversed at that resist at that support level on 1.31346 let's look at the daily candles indeed look at that the pair has reversed look at that Th this support level here is holding the position and the pair is not e actually able to break out of it actually if we look at the daily candles we can see here my favorite pin bar or my f sorry my favorite reversed uh, hammer or my favorite price action actually this price action here usually when you see such price action on a support level it indicates that the market is gonna reverse in a bullish momentum so let's go back to the four hour chart and what we can notice here exactly right here I think right here yes uh, that's gonna be better level to start buying the USD CAD on the support level so the USD CAD is good for the buy at 1.31581 and the safe zone is actually gonna be bigger this time let's go back to the daily candles so by looking at the daily candles um, I don't want it to exceed that level uh, let's see oh shit sorry okay and um, okay so let me just explain to you about the uh, the safe zone uh, by looking at the daily candles we can notice that right now we are facing a major uh, sorry a strong support level however the other end of the safe zone is also ranging on a very strong key support level look at that right here and right here and even after the bearish breakout candle this was also a strong key resistance level but it did not hold the position for a long time and the pair has immediately made the breakout and look at that the pair is holding at that level of the support since actually uh, the beginning of 2020 so so that being said that's the reason I have made this uh, as my safe zone let me just draw for you the levels exactly like that so the safe zone is gonna be ranging for almost 50 pips and the take profit level is gonna be given exactly at the previous support level right here right here uh, we are not looking for much profit from USD CAD this week because actually actually we can make it like here uh, up to this level of the previous resistance 
let me just drag it be it more safe okay good this is more safe actually so we are looking for almost 90 or almost 100 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna make them all the tech profit level is gonna be 1.32565 hopefully also is gonna bring us a lot of profits all right so let's check right now the usd gpy uh, USD GPY, as you can see, my friends, has already met the reversal on that resistance level on 106.085, and the pair has already reversed, as we can see right here. So, I think the USD GPY is going to be good for the short right away. Um, <coughs> I don't expect from the pair to actually make any bullish reversals. I think it's going to uh, fall immediately because of the pressure from the GPY. That being said, also. Uh, we can start shorting the USD GPY. Let me just tell you. One second. All right. So this is the level where we are going to short the USD GPY. It's on 105.870. Or actually, I can say uh, right away. Let me edit this one. We can sell right now. All right. So sell uh, the USD GPY right now. Uh, the thing is, we are actually going to scalp the USD GPY this week. We're not going to look for uh, big profits because I'm just uh, I'm expecting or, uh, for it to reach only that previous support level right here. And then we can see what will going to happen with the pair. So actually, the safe zone is going to be ranging also until hit that previous resistance level. Let me bring this one a little bit more down. So like that, that's better. So it's like that. Use the GPY for good for the short this week, and uh, the tech profit level is gonna be given on 105.818. Hopefully, also is gonna bring us a good profit. Let's check right now the USD CHF. The USD CHF right now, if we go to the daily candles, we can notice the strong bullish candle right here. After the reversal from the support, the pair has actually made a fake breakout from that level. However, right after the candle, let me just show you, right after this candle closed, indicating that the pair is going to continue the fall, we have this candle here appeared, which has actually uh, changed the whole game. And by the way, this is Wednesday candle. This green candle here is Wednesday's candle, the day when the opening meeting was going on, which actually has helped or gave a boost to the US dollar and actually we can see right here the pair has on the next day made a correction and it went all the way down again to the same level of the previous support but however uh, Friday night the, the bulls was they were able to actually control the market and the candle has closed as a bullish candle indicating that the pair indeed is going to continue the rise however let's check again the four hour chart and i think we need to find the best level to start buying the uh, usdchf and from my point of view we are having right here a support number one after the bullish breakout candle we have here support number one so the best chances for us is to wait for the pair to fall down and we can place the buy order on support number two so uh, let's see the safe zone is going to be ranging okay good so um let me just draw for you the safe zone it's gonna be ranging exactly right here until it hit the support level so it's gonna be ranging for almost 45 pips only and let me just draw the shape of the safe zone okay good like that so we can start buying the usd chf on the level uh, 0 0.90708 and the take profit level is going to be given also right here on the previous resistance so we are looking for almost 122 pips of profit from buying the pair so the take profit level on 0 0.91958 and hopefully also my friends is gonna bring us good profit this week let's right now check the gold now the gold movement has been random as i told you my friends and we, we can see right here is that the gold has continued the rise here on um, um, 15th of uh, 15th of August however no actually more than that hold on it was on 17th of August yes until 18 then on 19 only it started the bearish momentum as I told you the movement of the gold is uh, quite random uh, at least the last week it was random 
we can see that the bear after the reversal from the previous support here it just did not respect any previous support or resistance level in the past the gold has been moving randomly this last week because as i told you the opening meeting uh, was actually and uh, it was affecting the prices and of course the pandemic in the united states is also playing a huge role here uh, it's affecting the uh, prices of the gold anyway uh, in my opinion and if we go to the daily candles uh, and from my technical view we can see that the gold this week is going for the bullish and we can see that also the pair has almost reach again the price of 2014 and immediately once the once the pair has reached this level it immediately fall down below 2000 however what we can see right here is this support on 1921 is quite strong support level uh, let me explain the reason because we can see here we had a strong key support level then the pair has made a fake breakout from that level However, immediately after the breakout happened, the pair finished with another bullish candle. It, I mean, that support level has never been a resistance. The, the, the support has been only playing a, a role as a support during the whole time. Even when the, when, the, when the breakout happened, we can see the bullish here, the bullish candle appeared and it immediately break out from the level. Not only that, but again, the support level was holding its position not only wise not only once sorry twice <laughs> not only once but not even twice but three times so three times this level of the support was uh, very strong and therefore we can start actually buying the pair exactly from that support level let's right now go to the one hour chart and actually i just want to give a safe entry i don't care if uh, everyone have missed uh, the entry uh, let me tell you honestly something here. I'm expecting from the gold to continue the rise immediately, right away, all the way to hit the same level of 2014. However, I cannot give a signal for buying the gold immediately because there is a slight chance because we can see right here that we had here a strong key resistance level and also here it was a strong support, not a strong, it was a support level. So there is a slight chance that the pair might reverse and fall down to 1921 and from that point again uh, it's gonna be better for the buy the only problem here is why can't i give a, a buy signal right away because let's let's check how many pips is that it's almost 190 pips do you really want me to give you a signal that can go actually 190 pips against you definitely not gonna happen so therefore i'm gonna be safe uh, for myself and for the followers and i'm gonna give the signal right here exactly like that so of course the gold is uh, moving a lot uh, in high volatility so the safe zone is gonna be small actually no it should be bigger than that exactly like that so the safe zone is gonna be ranging for almost 130 pips however the tech profit level hopefully if it's if it really happened is gonna bring us a lot of profits i'm gonna give the take profit level exactly at that previous uh, resistance which was a strong support in the past so we are looking for almost i hope it really happened 535 pips of profit so the gold is good for the buy on 1921.46 let me draw for you the safe zone also and the take profit level is going to be given on 1974.64 so there go there goes your signals for the upcoming week and i think it's going to be be a very profitable and good week for everyone because uh, this week we don't have much high impact in news and also the market is really easy to be read, read and please keep your eyes only on the upcoming news on uh, next Thursday when Mr. Jerome Powell is gonna make his, his speech um, when a guy in his uh, position he is the chairman of the federal ba of this or the, of the central bank uh, of the United States uh, this guy actually whatever statement he is making can actually affect the prices of the gold and the US dollar it's gonna definitely rock the market if it was very positive or very negative please pay attention to it don't ignore it it's very very important so until then i hope that uh, was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching